Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hopefully this is going to be a big treat after yesterday's catastrophe. Uh, that was a mess, guys. That was a, that was a big mess. Uh, people that, that brew beers, occasionally you're going to get something like that happen. And like I said, it's happened to me a couple of times now where it spews all over the frickin' place. And it is, I think it's even killed one of the computers I've got here. It's sad. I mean, it's sad. If you've got one of those beers from Allen Brewing, you probably ought to open it over the sink, like I said yesterday, because that is a big mess. Uh, and as far as I'm concerned, I graded it accordingly. If that's the style of beer you're going to brew, you, you need to... Uh, you need to get your head screwed on right and, and not produce a beer that's going to spew all over the damn place. So, that's all i got to say about that. Very disappointed with uh, Deep Ellen Brewing uh, for releasing something like that. It was a mess. Alright, let's get on with it. Like I said, this computer is not even working now, guys. So. Uh, let's run over here and get started on this beer review. This is from Carton Brewing. My brother Rico sent me this one. Uh, it says here, a little note he sent, 8.5% stout with 60 IBUs. And he says, it says the journey began, or canned on date, uh, February 6th of 2017. And he paid $16 for a four-pack of it. And they are 16-ounce cans. Carton does some really tasty stuff, guys. They really do. Uh, and it's got everything uh, on the front here. It's got the IBUs, it's got the ABV, and it's got the canned on date on the bottom. So it's got all three bits of information that we need, or, or want, or crave, or, or should have. And uh, so with that being said, we've got uh, his bits of information here, which is basically the same thing that's on the can, other than uh, uh, how much he paid for it, which he told us. So, commercial description on this one says, the thing about stouts made with additions of things like coffee, uh, is while they taste just like coffee, they taste just like coffee. <laughs> which is true, this is very true. A well-constructed stout is a sturdy of potential flavors, both bitter and sweet at once. With your four ingredients, aromas can bring ping-pong between coffee, chocolate, vanilla, smoke, dark fruits, molasses, and a myriad of other without running over each other. Drink unjunked and don't ask us to treat this, to actually to treat this one. Okay. We won't. That's all we need to talk about, so let me get the can opened up here. Big 16 ounce can. Uh, cuisine is barbecue, cheese and buttery, brie, gouda, havarti, swiss. Uh, goes well with your chocolate dishes. And it says here the meat is beef, shellfish, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Last Friday, pint, back in night, tumbler mug, Stein Sedell. I've got my favorite tulip glass here. And it says here not recommended for extended cellaring, but doesn't say anything about any coffee or anything added to the beer. So I don't know why you couldn't cellar this uh, beer for a little while anyway. Uh, nice carbonation, a finger and a half of head on that pour. Good looking beer in the glass. Over to the light, I'm not seeing any at all. So it's a pretty dark beer here, guys. Let's get a nose to it. Rich roasted malt. Bittersweet chocolate. Maybe some slight hint of some dark fruit in there, but it's right out of the fridge, chilled. Maybe hints of some molasses in there. It smells very good. Decent carbonation. I mean, maybe uh, I poured it a little too aggressive. Uh, a lot of times these bigger beers, uh, 
don't uh, pour a monster head uh, for an eight and a half percent. It's not huge, but uh, I wasn't expecting to pour that much of a head. Probably should have poured it just a little easier. Well, let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico, my brother. I do appreciate it, sir. Hope you're well. Very nice, tasty stout. Nothing outstanding to me right now. All the characteristics of a standard stout. I mean, and being an eight and a half, I would probably consider this an, an imperial stout. And uh, it just has American stout listed on beer advocate and great, great beer. And so it has on untapped. So I don't know if it has to get to the, the 9% to be an Imperial. I, I was thinking an 8.5 would be an Imperial. No alcohol on the taste. Very well made. Decent bitterness to match up with the sweet malt. Tasty right now. Well, let's sip on this for just a little bit and see what we end up with. And... Let her have a taste two or three, and uh, I'll come back and we'll do the final chug and great. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Uh, a very nice rendition of uh, American style. Uh, to me, I, I classify this as an imperial style at 8.5%. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, alcohol is super well hidden. Uh, I mean, you could get in trouble with this if you're drinking multiples of this. Uh, alcohol is very, very rare. Very. Did I say very? Very well hidden. So uh, just be careful if you're not drinking this at home. Uh, and if you're out at a, a bar or something, I don't know how they just you know distribute their beers, whether they cake some of this and it goes out to the local brew pubs or whatever. The alcohol is so well hidden in this, you'd think you were drinking a six and a half percent or instead of an eight and a half percent. It is a very tasty beer. Uh, nice slicing is left on the glass. Uh, this would be a great one to put in a bourbon barrel for a while. Uh, it would be very, very tasty. And plus it has ABV, the IBUs, and the canned on date on the bottom of it. Two thumbs up for those guys for doing that. That's the way it should be done. These Best Buy dates suck, guys. They do. The only benefit for them is for them doing that kind of dating instead of putting a canned or a bottle on date on there. And some of these breweries, they give it a three month, some of them give it a six month, some of them give it an eight month, some of them give it a 12 month. I just seen where uh, Nagano uh, is doing a pale ale with a two year shop life. What? What? Incredible. But they want to sell it. That's the whole reason they do that shit, guys. They want to put it on a shelf and let it sit there for two years. Well, imagine what that pale ale is going to taste like when it's been sitting there in that bottle for two years. What a malt bomb that's going to be. Final chug on this one. A great American style. Nobody's listening as an imperial version, even though it's an eight and a half percenter. A very nice beer. A very, very nice beer, guys. Uh, to me, to me, it's a great uh, American style. I consider it an imperial stout being at eight and a half percent. I'm gonna give this a minus. Uh, Nine is where I would put this beer. Very very tasty beer, and they do all the information you need. And, and, and really, you don't need the IBUs uh, listed on there, but they're doing that. So, like I said, two thumbs up to those guys at Carton. Uh, they know how to package your beer and give you the information that you want and you need. So, let's run over to uh, Beer Advocate, and they say. 90. Hey, imagine that. We're in agreement on this one. Over to Rate Beer. They say 87 overall, 86 in the style. It's a little better than that. Especially with the information they're giving us on the beer. Final check-in. We're running over to Untapped. They have it at 4.2, uh, 4.02, which is in their A category also. The bottom end of their A category. So, it's an A beer, guys. It, it really is. It's definitely worth picking up. If you see this, and, you, and like I said, I don't know what the distribution is for Carton Brewery. But uh, if you can get your hands on this, this is a great American stout. 
uh, very, very tasty. All the characteristics you want in it, uh, roasted malt, uh, molasses, a bittersweet chocolate, slight hint of some dark fruit, not a lot. Not a lot. I'm, not, I'm not getting a lot of dark fruit in this beer, especially after it warmed up a little bit. But it is a nice tasty American stuff. So that's where I'm going to leave it. Uh, if you've had this one from Carton Brewing, they're unjumped. Uh, let me know what you think, guys. I thought it was very damn tasty, Rico. Thanks again, my brother. If you've had it, guys, let me know what you think. We'll be back tomorrow. Let's see what's in the fridge. See you then.